okay so what this word means moment this has to do with rotation or turning of objects and a moment is basically called the turning effect of the force this is not the definition in physics of a moment but this is how would you you would describe the word moment and to think about moment let's take a look at some real life examples <clears throat> from our daily lives if you were to open this red door on the left where would you normally apply the force obviously on the door handle here right but what if you were to open the same door but the door now was here and the force was applied closer to the hinges would it be easier for you to open the door or would it be much harder think about it and we know all uh, we all know from experience that if we try to open the door by pushing the door uh, closer to the hinges it's going to take a much larger force to open the same door so this has to do with moments let's look at this tap uh, and if you want to open this tap obviously you want to apply a force at this edge but what happens if you try to apply a force here to open the same tab would you need more force or would you need less force again we know from experience that the closer you get to this part this pivot or this hinge of the tab the greater the force you would need to open the same tab in a similar manner let's look at this uh, spanner which is used to tighten or loosen a bolt now let's say you want to loosen a bolt or tighten it where again would you apply the force now naturally applying a force here would be the most easiest thing and that would apply uh, help us to open or close the bolt easily or what happens if you try to apply the force here would you need a larger force or a smaller force so all these are exp uh, all these are examples of applying a moment and we are noticing a trend here we are noticing a trend that the closer the fo force gets to the center of rotation which you also called pivot the larger the force you need to apply uh, take another example and take a look at this bottle opener is it easier to open the bottle with just your hands well it's not obviously because the cap is sharp but also even if it wasn't sharp it's not so easy to open but the bottle opener again gives us that leverage or you could say it increases the distance of the force so if you're applying the force here like this you're trying to lift the can opener you are increasing your distance from the center of rotation or the pivot which is about here and that increases the moment which is what we call the turning effect of a force so in order to get a greater turning effect to make the rotation easier you move the force further away from the center of rotation or the pivot now how do you calculate the moment it's very easy actually the formula to calculate the moment is this f times distance but even in these examples uh, which are shown above let's try to calculate the moment one by one using the same formula and try to see how do we actually choose the distance that we have to use in order to find out the moment so in this example with the one on the right how do you find the moment well it's quite simple o is the pivot 3 is a force which is acting upwards so moment will be force which is 3 multiplied by 2 which is the distance from the force which is the distance from the force to the pivot so the distance that we are actually taking from is perpendicular to the force see this is the line of action of force which i am drawing here with a dotted line and if you notice the angle with between this distance and the force is 90 degrees to the pivot so 
the moment that we find is 3 into 2 6 what would be the units of this moment well the units of a force are Newton and the units of distance are meters so the units of moment will be Newton meter and you can see that this new this moment is going to rotate our beam or the arm or this rod in an anti-clockwise direction if you look at this example now the one in the center it's pretty much the same how would you calculate the moment you would again take a look at the line of action of the force which is this which is vertical so the distance must be horizontal once again this is a 90 degree angle between the force and the distance so force is 4 newton and the distance is 3 which gives us 12 newton meter and this is obviously clockwise because this rod is going to rotate in this direction now the last example is a little bit different from the first two and the reason for that is because you have to pick your distance carefully many students would make the mistake of actually trying to measure this distance but this is actually wrong you have to stop yourself from making that mistake and why is that because the distance that you have to take when finding out the moment must be perpendicular to the line of action of the force the line of action of the force is again vertical so the distance must be perpendicular to that force at 90 degrees to it which is 2 so in this case the moment will not be the length of the rod but it will be force which is 3 multiplied by distance 2 and we'll again get 6 newton meter and from the diagram it's quite obvious that this is going to be in anti-clockwise direction so now we know how to calculate the moment of any force about a point the point O in all of these examples was your pivot or the center of rotation and whenever we calculate whenever you will read a problem where you have to solve these problems it will always say take the moments about a specific point so right now we are taking moments about point O which we are taking as the pivot now we can define the moment properly using the examples that we have learned the definition goes something like this moment is the product product simply means to multiply of force and the perpendicular distance and this is important it's not just enough to say that it's the product of force and distance but you have to say it's the perpendicular distance between the force and the pivot so this word perpendicular distance from the pivot to the force is very important and this definition is essentially what this formula is saying however when you use the formula you have to keep the definition in mind and choose your distance carefully from the pivot to the line of action of the force